What's going on, people? It's Paul here. I got another radio for y'all. It's a, it's a, it's a Kim1 Exelon uh, double den screen. It's actually their entry level Exelon screen. And Exelon means that it's an upper line ver uh, uh, version of the regular radios from Kimwood. And they have a two year warranty. Uh, this radio is about $349. Um, uh, the, the screen size on it is at 6.2 inch, whereas regular Kimwood screens are 6.1 inch. So that extra 0.1 of an inch of a screen might give you. You know, a little extra screen to touch on. Anyway, uh, let's get this box open and we'll see what's on uh, inside the box and we'll go from there. All right, we got the box here. Open up the lid. Uh, see the first thing come to. Um, it looks like a light green wire, which I think that's for the parking brake uh, extension. So you may have to extend it. So I guess that's, that's what that's for. Uh, next is the, the trim ring. You know, it's a little bit of plastic in there. I used to keep it from you know, squishing and getting broke. Uh, the next is the power wire harness. Um, here's the Bluetooth microphone. That way you can talk with the Bluetooth hands free. Uh, here is the manual with the warranty card. And on the, and on the other side of the package, uh, we got your CD keys. <clears throat> Woo! Puberty! Um, and all the installation screws that you need to you know, maybe screw it to an install kit or something. Set that off to the side. There's nothing else on the top lid. Okay, you know, it's here. So open up the lid. I'm sliding the radio out. There's nothing else in the box. So I'm going to put that off to the side. Uh, it's got, you know, styrofoam is taped to a side piece. That's taped to the other styrofoam. So I'm going to set all of that to the side. All right, I'm getting a piece of plastic here. Let's go get that unwrapped. I'm be careful here. I don't want to tear the that nice plastic bag too much. And now it's stuck to the to the face cover, which is a big sticky sheet. But I always seem to have trouble pulling off without tearing it. Nope. Well, then tore that one. I guess it's being torn. Get coming over here. All right, pull kind of. It's kind of a pain, but you can. There, got all that off of there. Uh, but it, it's, it's probably for a good thing because it keeps all this nice shiny uh, outsides uh, scratch free. And on the back, back here, uh, I probably should pull it off the other way. But anyway, here's the the cage that you may or may not need. Usually, in most cases, you won't need it, but. Usually this is for, for like custom installations. But anyway, here's the radio. Let's get it mounted up and we'll see what's back here. Turn around, power it up, and we'll see what's in here. <sighs> All right, we got to turn around back here. And as usual, we'll start from the left-hand side and meander our way over here to the right-hand side. And the first thing I see over here is this little DIN port. Uh, that's for an optional Sirius XM module uh, that you get uh, in order to get this radio Sirius XM capabilities. It's an optional module. It doesn't come with the radio, and that module usually runs around $75 to $100, you know, depending on where you get it from. Here's the plug for the power harness with the little fuse. Little, looks like a 10 amp fuse. Uh, let's see. I'm going to get these wires and muzzle get these out of the way. This is the parking brake wire. Uh, this is what you hooks to the parking brake switch. So, in order to watch video normally, legally, you have to have your parking brake in, which requires you to be stopped, because driving with your parking brake in, you probably won't be going anywhere. And, uh, and, and it, this allows you to watch video. Uh, the next uh, wire right here, this is a purple white wire. This is your reverse wire. This is, a, if you want to add an optional reverse camera, uh, this wire taps into your reverse wire on your steering column. So you'll put it in reverse and send a signal down, down this wire into the radio so it'll interrupt whatever screen you're looking at to see what you're backing into with the optional review camera. Over here, this is the microphone input. This little port right here on the left hand side. This port right over here is um, iPod slash AV input and you have to get a special cable from, from Kimwood in order for that to, for that to work. Uh, straight down, uh, this is a three foot USB extension. You know, it's hardwired straight in the radio. You just pop the little cap off, put your, you know, Android or iPhone or whatever, they'll charge it up with a one amp charge. 
or a thumb drive or you know with music or videos on it. Then you can put this like a pocket or glove box or whatever. Over here we got video output. Uh, if you want, to, if you have like extra screens, uh, you can show video on them. Whatever showed on here. Underneath it is your reverse camera input. So this is where the video of your reverse camera will go into. Uh, right here we got rear, front, and subwoofer. Let me get my fingers there. Four volt pre out. So my camera is going crazy. Um, what you can do is you can have like you know. What, a monoblock amp, or a two-channel amp, or two two-channel amps, four-channel amp, five-channel amp. Many configurations for amplifying your speakers with these four-volt uh, pre-outs. And of course, this is your FM antenna input. So you, as usual, new cars nowadays. So might as well say every car now requires a special adapter for its antenna. And 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 of course, the nearer the vehicle, the more different the antenna the adapter is. Anyway, that's everything on the back back here. Let's turn the sucker around and see what's going on the front. All right, we're getting it powered up here. Of course, it's going through this little boot up stage and its initial setup. Uh, demonstration off, always turn it off. If not, you'll have issues later on. Uh, language, if you speak anything other than English, you know, you can change it in there. Audio, video input, you can select it if you want to use your iPod or, or some other signal. Uh, reverse camera interrupt, uh, you turn that, turn that off or on. On means when you, as soon as you put in reverse, it'll change the screen to the reverse camera signals. Uh, and panel color, all you do is just change whatever color you want, and, and it's changing these colors right here to like a red. These are red, blue, or it's purple looking, and purple. So get out of here and click finish. I like purple, so I'll just leave it on purple. Alright, on first looks, I do like the glossy black. It kind of gives a professional, sleek look all the way around. Um, we got uh, your uh, logo, which also serves as a uh, reset switch, that little red triangle there. This is your CD or DVD eject button. You press it, and it'll spit out you know, whatever DVD or CD you have in there. This is the CD DVD slot right here. Uh, of course, that's the word Exelon, and down here we got DVD video, Dolby Digital, of course the Kenwood name it itself, Sirius XM Ready, Bluetooth, and the model number, which is you know DDX392. Um, this radio does iPhone and uh, Android, you know, link for Pandora. Um, Bluetooth for both Pan, you know, iPhone and Androids. Uh, anyway, uh, over here we got menu. AV or hold down for reverse camera, so you can actually turn the reverse camera off or on while you're driving. Telephone button or hold down for voice commands for iPhone for Siri control. And right here is your attenuation button, which is mute. You just press it, it'll mute the thing, or if you press it and hold it, uh, it doesn't do anything. So apparently, um, I'm not in an actual menu or anything, so. Uh, on, of course, on the first screen, we got iPod uh, tuner, which is radio, telephone uh, for talking, all source, which shows you all the all source. I'll go through that in a few minutes here. Uh, disc, which is CD or DVD, Bluetooth audio, which is music playing wirelessly through your Bluetooth, Pandora, which works as art works uh, Android and iPhone, and setup, which goes through all your setup menu, menus. So anyway, we'll click the first button here, iPod. Uh, of course, I don't have an iPod or anything, so it's going to be disconnected, but it'll show, it'll show like title and artist and, you know, album art if it has it. Then we'll go back. Uh, menu. Uh, tuner. You got your presets here. Um, here's your, uh, there, there's the time, of course. There's your station that you're on. Um... And if it has like information, RDS information, it'll show here. And th these right here are your, your seek and tune buttons. Uh, this word seek, and press it. And it's going through your presets. So you can see the button over here lighting, highlighting up. Uh, press seek again. And I don't know if you notice it, but the, uh, your frequency on your radio is going up one number at a time. 
And if I hit seek one more time, then it tries to find the nearest strongest station. Uh, FM uh, 1, FM 2, FM 3, back to FM 1 again. So it gives you 18 stations that you can preset. Quite different cities, AM. And that's it, just 1 AM. So you only got 6 that you can preset on AM. Uh, let's see, down here we got, you know, iPod tuner, telephone, which is the, the top line of the menu here. Telephone, you go into here. If Once you have your phone paired, you got your... Um, outgoing numbers, incoming numbers, any phone calls you may have missed. Your phone book will be downloaded and it shows like a list that you can scroll through. Oh, I, it. Uh, I pressed the iPod button there by accident. Um, you can scroll through and click by person to call directly. Uh, mode. This is, you know, if you want to change like ringtones or automatically answer phones and stuff or check your phone device. Of course, this is none right now so I don't have anything paired to it. And here's the, this this button right here is the escape menu, and that's pretty much it for the phone thing. So I'll go back to the menu. The all source button here takes you to every source that the radio has currently. Um, this tuner, Sirius XM. Which you know, if you go here, it'll say check tuner because there's no tuner because that's an optional thing. I'll go back to here, all source. iPod been there. USB. If you have a thumb drive. Plugged in that USB extension, you can play music through it. It'll tell you what's going on. Uh, let's see, all source, uh, Bluetooth audio. Once your phone is paired to it, it'll start showing like song titles and stuff and start playing. You can change songs through here. Uh, let's see, all source. Um, apps. Uh, this is like for an app mode for, for the iPhones and stuff. You require a special cable in order for this to work the way it should. Cable probably, probably runs around 30, 40 bucks or so. And of course, telephone was in there. AV input. Um, parking brake is off. I said, I said, like rainwater. Once it's on, it'll start start showing video. Let's see, all source and standby. Standby is just to turn everything off, but the radio's still on mode. All right, now we'll go into uh, see this in Pandora. It's pretty much uses your Pandora functions. You know, like you know, next track, favorite, tag, you know, stuff like that. For, for both Android and the uh, iPhone. Uh, setup. I'm going to here, and this is where you do all kinds of crazy other things. Uh, your main menu is audio, display, input, and system. So the first thing is on here on top is uh, audio, and you get your fader and balance. When you click on here, you can select your, where you want your fader by clicking on the square or dialing it in with the, the grid system. Uh, if you can't really get it centered, you can press the center button and it'll make the centers for you. Okay, go back. Uh, equalizer, we got drive EQ. Um, you know, and it was also gives you your subwoofer level control. So if you have a subwoofer playing, you can turn the subwoofer up or down right here. So using a volume or a gain knob that comes with the amp, you can use your radio. And on here, you got natural and pop. These are like preset equalizer settings. Got lots of them, parallel top 40, jazz, you know, stuff like that. And let's see here, loudness, off or on, just makes the whole thing, everything a little bit louder. Crossover, this is where you can actually tune in exactly how you really want it to sound. If you're, you know, technically inclined, you can get in there and really adjust it if you have multiple amps. Volume offset, uh, the radio, it's like, like, like an extra internal volume. Uh, subwoofer, you can actually turn the subwoofer off or on. Let's say, like, if in a school zone or something, you can turn it, turn it off and turn it back on. That way, you can continue listening when you get out of school zone. Bass boost, you use a little more oomph in the bass, makes it a little, little stronger. It's like level three is the highest or off. And speaker select, standard, narrow, middle, wide. Um, it's just if you want to, you know, tell the radio what kind of speaker or style speaker you have. Down here is, well, that's that's it. That's all for the audio, audio menu. Uh, under display, we got a dimmer. We got on, off, or auto. As you see, off and on, it's just, in case your display is too bright, you can turn it off or on. That way you can kind of adjust how it's, how it's done. User customize, you go into here. You can set uh, different backgrounds. 
I kind of like this right here. Uh, panel color, like I said, I swear I changed the color from purple. I'm going to change the blue now. Go back out of that. OSD clock, you turn that off on. On screen display, that's what that stands for. Uh, demonstration, that's demo, always just always turn it off. Like I said, it causes problems. Scrolling, uh, if your song title is all it's too long, it'll scroll. You can either, you just like to scroll constantly, or you can do it, have to just do it once and stop, or just turn it off and not scroll at all. You know, just be hanging off the screen. Uh, menu customize. Go into here. I think. Uh, let's see. Kind of. I can't really drag. But you can actually change. I see it over here. Okay. Let's say you use SiriusXM a lot. And you can make the first button. Uh, let's say you uh, on this button you like use your Bluetooth audio. Looks like it has all the buttons in here. I haven't found the Bluetooth audio yet. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Oh, I see. Maybe because it's over here. So let's uh, do that. Now. Click this, get rid of that, go back up here. Yeah, there it is, okay. Yeah, whatever is button showing, it won't be in the list until you get rid of it with something else and then it'll show up on the list. So anyway, you can actually customize your menu to however you like it. Video output, this is like for here, for Europe. Uh, if you're here, use this. If you're from Europe, use that. Uh, that's all for display. Uh, the next is input. Uh, we got AV or iPod. That's what I asked for you at the beginning of the initial setup. Uh, rear cam interput, interput, interrupt. <laughs> uh, you can, uh, you know, tell the radio to interrupt what you're looking at, and that's it for input. All right. The next is system. Uh, we got language. We know what that is. Clock. Turn that off or on. Synchronize it. You know, the radio data system or not. You know, just whatever you want to do. Uh, back out. Let's see. Beeping. Uh, when you press buttons, it'll beep. You can turn it off if it gets too annoying. Remote sensor. Turn that off or on if you wanted. Uh, set up memory. Uh, do you want to memorize or recall the audio video setup? Yes or no? You may have to play with that to make sure you get it just right. So Back out of that. Uh, next, anything down here? We have Bluetooth setup. Um... Enter, I said pair device list, enter it, and if you have like multiple phones, they'll list them right here, and then you just re remove of old phones or whatever. Uh, pin code, uh, normally it starts off at 0000, but if you want to change it, you can go in here, you can change the pin code if you didn't want every person in the world pairing their phone to your radio. Uh, the device name, this is what, what you're going to look for when you're looking for the, the phone when you're pairing it up. Uh, device address, in case you need to use that. Auto connect, uh, when you turn the radio on, when you get the vehicle, or when you turn the vehicle on, the radio comes on, the radio automatically tries to connect to your phone. Uh, Bluetooth, uh, HF stands for hands-free slash audio. By default, remember now people, by default, well actually, uh, usually by default, most Kenwoods, just the front speakers are gonna play, but now I think for this year, all the speakers are gonna be set up for, for all the place, um, for all the uh, all the speakers to play off Bluetooth. Reason why when you when, when it was in front only, if you had sub subwoofers, when you was playing uh, Bluetooth audio, there would be no bass. So people thought you know maybe their installation was bad or whatever, and it was tearing everything apart. But it was just to click the all button, then the bass start playing, and that's it. Auto pairing. If you plug your iPhone in, it automatically pair through the cord. Uh, initialize. You go to here. And uh, it's pretty much all, all set up radio already anyway. Uh, let's see. Audio video key long press. And what that means is if you have an audio video input from somewhere, um, you can set up a, a certain button to press and hold on the screen to let video through. So like, let's say if you don't have a review camera, but you have a, a um, an external Xbox or something, you can stick the video through the R R cam 
and you can press and hold it on the screen right here just to make sure that's highlighted and the R cam input will become your audio video input it's like a programmable buttons uh, serial number touch panel adjust that's if you if you think your calibration is off you can go there and kind of adjust that a little bit system information this is where you can find like uh, versions and stuff uh, you can go to the Kimball website and you can download new updates if there is any and update your radio to the latest version Sometimes it fixes a bunch of uh, bugs and stuff with all the new updates. Alright, let's see here. Alright, that's all for those buttons here. Alright, uh, so we press menu here, which brings to here. Uh, AV, which uh, took me to Pandora. Uh, if I hold it down, uh, it goes to the R cam, or, or, or reverse camera. Um, down here we got telephone. Which takes you to your 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 phone icon, which is the same thing as clicking uh, this right here. Uh, you press it and hold it down. Uh, of course, I, I guess since, since a, a phone is not a, a paired to it, you know, holding it down to do voice commands isn't going to work just yet. And of course, over here, let me let me get out go to the tuner. Tuner, 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 tuner. tuner. We'll back up here. Uh, where tuner go? All source tuner. Uh, see right here where it says ATT on, ATT off. I'm pressing the volume button. Um, press and hold it. Takes you to the your equalizer settings. And of course, I uh, it does have a five band equalizer. So you can actually adjust how everything just by just by clicking on on the equalizer bar. You know. However you want to say it, if you can't get to where you want to go, you can use the buttons to kind of dial in exactly what you want. Uh, negative 8 plus 8 on all the 80 hertz, 200 hertz, 800 kilohertz, 4 kilohertz. Sorry, this is 800 hertz, not, not 800 kilohertz. 4 kilohertz and 12.5 kilohertz. And of course, you know, bass, mids, highs. You know, bass, mids, and treble if you want to think, think of it like that. And uh, as far as I can tell, that's pretty much it uh, for this radio. All right, that was the Kimwood DDX392 Exelon Radio 2 year warranty, about $349.95. Um, has four wheel preouts, got Pandora, Bluetooth, uh, Sirius XM ready. Kind of read the boxes I'm going here. Variable color, illumination, rear view camera, uh, wired remote input for you know your uh, you know, serial controls. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, for 349 two-year warranty, DVD player, touchscreen with Bluetooth and Series XM, you can't really go wrong with that. Anyway, I uh, appreciate you watching. If you want to press the like button, make a comment down below, I appreciate that. And uh, hope you have a wonderful day, and please subscribe.